Okay, so of course we can go in, in an other direction, okay? We can go in the chunking down direction. So in the chunking down direction, we can say, you know, here's the ego and it's um, in its little island of the, of the disordered or the unhealthy or the constricted or the constipated ego. And we can move down. So the down chunking way of going about this is to open up into the area of uh, specifications, evidence, standards. Uh, this is where a lot of the meta model also probes for sp specificity. People always act asking why specifically, how specifically. Um, and um, let's see, physical reality, you know, the, the fine stuff that, the, okay, this is how you define physical reality. This is how you know it's physical reality, all that very specific stuff. And so the issue with the ego is NLP people very often forget that they're dealing with an ego. They're dealing with people's egos that operate within often uh, restrictive bounds. And when you start asking them either framing questions that we just mentioned or specific, uh, specification questions, you can immediately break rapport at this line because the ego has to progress. It has to open up slowly. You can't just start pounding away on specification or pounding away on generalization without often, without often seriously, seriously having this perceived as an attack on the ego. And of course, rapport then will be completely broken and everything will, will fall apart. And uh, so NLP people get with it, get with the idea that they, there's got to be a model of ego consciousness and an unwinding and a decompressing and an opening up of the, uh, of the constricted ego. It's not something you can just go start slapping them around with the meta model. That's fucking stupid. Okay. And NLP, by the way, does a lot of fucking stupid stuff. And one of their fucking stupid things is to start bombing people with a meta model. So understand what you're doing and understand how the ego thing works before you start drilling down into specifics. But having said all that, this is where the rule books are. This is where the laws are. This is where the, the precise descriptions and the precise specifications and understanding the world in, in high precision terms. So that's another area that many people tend to be unconscious. They, they tend to think very strongly in ego terms. And when you start going into high, high specificity, it's uncomfortable for them, it's foreign to them. Of course, there are other people who spend a lot of time in nothing but high specificity. And um, they need to go in the other way. And when you go to a, toward uh, generalization with them, that can come as quite a shock. So that's part two.